With more people getting vaccinated and COVID cases going down, a lot is changing in the state of Texas. And a lot is happening here in Houston as well. Our Sophia Ojeda breaking it all down for us. She's live from Minute Maid Park where the Strohs are now allowing a full house. Sophia, good morning. Hey, good morning. Good news for sure. Here in the Houston area, COVID cases are at their lowest. Minute Maid Park now open at full capacity. Meanwhile, this comes as the U.S. set to hit a major milestone today. Across the country, 25 states in the District of Columbia have fully vaccinated 50% or more of their adult population. And nine states have recently crossed the threshold of 70% of adults with at least one shot. Here in Houston, COVID positivity rates are down. The Texas Medical Center dashboard showing the average COVID positivity rate for last week at TMC hospitals is down to 3.2%. Let's go Astros! And that is all good news for Astros fans. Astros now allowing maximum capacity for the rest of baseball season. And fans who are fully vaccinated don't have to wear masks inside. I'm going to still wear my mask even though I'm fully vaccinated just to be safe. The low COVID numbers also means HISD is stopping its community food giveaway program. The two final distributions will be today, May 26th, and next Wednesday, June 2nd. Both are scheduled for 2 to 6 p.m. at Barnett stadium. Campus curbside pickup will still be available for students through the end of the school year. And this comes as the U.S. reaches a milestone today with 50% of the nation's population fully vaccinated. And with the holiday weekend right around the corner, health officials want to remind those who are not vaccinated to be careful. If you are vaccinated, you are protected and you can enjoy your Memorial Day. If you are not vaccinated, our guidance has not changed for you. You remain at risk of infection. You still need to mask and take other precautions. The World Health Organization reporting that COVID cases around the world are down 14% and deaths are also down 2%. But despite those numbers, COVID cases and deaths in some countries still remain high. Reporting live downtown, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC 2 News.